Pauline and today I'm going to be covering the basic vocabulary that should be taught when carrying out division. In terms of vocabulary, we use words like share between, share among, share equally and divide. When introducing division, children must work with concrete materials in order to understand the concept. It's also really important they understand the link between multiplication and division. Children would first complete concrete examples like this. We have eight apples on the board and two baskets. We would visually show the children how to share the apples between the two baskets by moving the apples until there are an equal amount in each basket, like this. Once children have a solid understanding of the concept of division using concrete materials, we would move on to writing the calculations down horizontally, like this. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. We would say how many 2s are in 8, or 8 divided by 2 is. We try to use the same vocabulary across the cluster, and this is something that you could support us with at home. We would avoid saying 2 goes into 8 to avoid confusing the children. Children are then introduced to a second way of writing down a division calculation, like this, where we have a units column and a tens column. In this example, we have two units and we have one ten. We say 12 divided by 4 is, or how many 4s go into 12. Children would write their answer above the line, like this. It is important at this point that children know that the calculation is set out in columns, a tens column and the units column. All digits must stay in the correct column. So in this example, the answer 3 sits above the 2 and in the units column. It is really important that children practice their multiplication tables in school and at home. This will ensure that they are confident when they are challenged with division calculations like this. In this example, children are told that they can take the calculation on by dividing one digit at a time. Again, we have a tens and units column. We have four tens, which of course is 40, and we have eight units. We would say how many fours in four, or four divided by four is. The children would complete their answer above the line and in the correct column, which is the tens column. We would then say, 8 divided by 4 is, or how many 4s go into 8? The children would once again complete their answer on the line and in the correct column. The answer is 12. Next, the children would be taught how to answer calculations with remainders. Again, the children would work with concrete materials until they are confident. Once they are confident, we would move on to writing division calculations like this. We would say, how many fours are in eight? The answer is two, which sits on the line and in the tens column. We would then say, how many fours are in nine? The children would reply, there are two, but with one left over. We would write the answer of two on the line in the units column. We would add an R for remainder on the line, and the one which is left over would sit outside the calculation. Therefore, 89 divided by four gives us the answer of 22 remainder 1. A more advanced example would be one which involves carrying a remainder from the tens to be exchanged for units. We would say, how many fours are in seven? The children would say one with a remainder of three. The three, which is the remainder, would be placed in the column to the right. We would then say 35 divided by four is eight with three left over. The remainder sits on the line and the three sits out with the calculation. 75 divided by four is 18 remainder three. This is not the end point in learning about division. However, with these skills, the children should be able to go on and answer more complex calculations in the future.